Yo. Here we are again. <sighs> Giving another update on these same tenants. Another one. In order for you to get the whole story, trust me. You won't want to hear this whole story. Stop right now and go to exciting news. But make sure you come back though. But seriously, go watch exciting news. I got it up right here. So you can get the whole story. After that, OMG really. And then you got to be kidding me. Those are the three videos before this one. Telling the story. So I'm not going to give all the details. We bent down, we bought the refrigerator. Mind you, y'all don't know, he wanted to get it out the way. We took that refrigerator to the tenants the day before Thanksgiving. Yes, the day before Thanksgiving. We drove a few hours back and forth with refrigerators the day before Thanksgiving when we supposed to be getting ready for our holiday. You know what I'm saying? So we sacrificed going up there the day before Thanksgiving and not being able to do as much as we wanted to do for our home, you know, for Thanksgiving. And guess what? Now they're not paying rent. I repeat, now they are not paying rent. They have not paid us for December. December came and went. And now it's January 13th. No rent for December, no rent for January. So now, it makes me even madder because we didn't want to buy the refrigerator. That's why we went and cleaned it first. Again, get caught up so you can see everything I'm talking about. They got what they wanted. We were good landlords. We did what we had to do. And now they're not paying rent. And this is the frustration of, of having rental properties and being landlords and owners. Especially if you're good landlords and owners because there's people out there that are scumbags and scum lords and don't fix and do what they're supposed to do. But we actually are good people that do what we got to do and get things fixed and everything. And we got people trying to screw us over, yo. As much as I want to go and drive back over there and start doing some some crazy things, I got too much to wait to to to, to live for. Got too much to live for. <sighs> too much to live for. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. <laughs> but it's just it's like I said, it's frustrating because we did what we had to do, did the right thing. Got the refrigerator, and now they're not paying. And see, this is why we wanted to get Section 8 tenants. We told our realtor from the beginning that we wanted Section 8 tenants in this property because we already lost a lot on this property from the beginning. Again, I tell you the stories in the previous three videos. We lost a lot on this property already so we wanted to get section 8 tenants so that we will be done with that and have guaranteed money but it just didn't work out that way and we ended up going with these tenants and everything was good they paid the first few months like everything was all gravy and now look so now we're at the point because it's been two months now where we're gonna have our property manager serve the 10 day notice or have a constable. Uh, uh, so it's the legal way.
Because she's been sending 10 day notices to quit, but it's through email or whatever. So that's really serving as just a, a reminder like, hey, you ain't pay your rent yet. Hey, you ain't pay your rent. But we're going to have her have the constable and stuff go out there and actually post it on the door. Because they haven't been responding to her phone calls or emails. So now we're at that point now. And once 10 days go by, if they haven't paid, then we can take them to court. So it's just like, uh, I don't know what it is with this property. I, I really don't know. But it's that we get tenants, they do good for a while, and then they just stop paying. That wasn't a while. This wasn't a while. That wasn't a while. But the, the previous tenants that ended up leaving our house in shambles, yeah, they were, they was paying for a good while and then stopped and then like I said, I said that story already and repeat it. So it's just frustrating, man. This made me be like, feel like we should just be like, screw it. Y'all not getting a new refrigerator to deal with the smell. Like, we could have did that. But we didn't. But you know, now you get those thoughts in your mind, like, should have done like that. Should have did that. And y'all don't Should've want to hear. Y'all don't want to hear the thoughts in my mind. Trust me. Hmm. So at this point, we just gotta keep it moving, and and you know, we have to stop those thoughts because we know that's not how we operate, and. Gotta know that God is working it all, all out for our good. We can do all things for Christ. God is working it all out for our good. We don't need to try to sink vengeance, revenge, and all that stuff. He got us. <laughs> no, you do not have to <laughs> But, yeah, it's... We could let something like this get us down and discourage us. And have us thinking wild, squirrely, malicious thoughts on what to do to put in or just give up or be depressed. But we got this, y'all. God yeah. got this. We know he working it out for our good. We just got to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. Because this sight sucks. This sight sucks. It side sucks. And I'm pissed off. But I'm gonna keep walking by faith. Nikki. Together. Jeez, <laughs> damn weirdo. Just wanted to update you guys and vent a little bit. That don't mean not to be good landlords. Be good landlords, y'all. Because, again, it's going to work out for us. Because the minute that you do the wrong thing and you be the scum lord, it's going to come back to bite you in the butt. Big time. So, even though people are going to be people, stay who you are. That's a moral story. Stay who you are. Do what you're supposed to do. Do the right thing. And it's going to work out for you.